Hello and welcome back. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. We're playing some Factorio. Uh, what do you want to call this one now, Stijo? It's AB plus, but it's not just AB. It's it's more. Yeah, it's the metallurgy is a big thing right now. It, it, it's like angels plus bobs plus also angels metallurgy. So it's like a bam, a bam. It's the a bam. So we did some math between episodes. It's eleven to twenty blast furnaces, which is annoying. So for now, we're just gonna double this up, and that's fine. I mean, so need. So I gotta put the know. nodules. I would like to know why he chose that. As, uh, we still don't, he, have, we still don't was, have red belts. It was better than murdering kittens, I guess. Is I maybe an is. argument. Yeah. Also, well, let's get logistics too. I feel like that's something that is probably needed. Didn't we? I think we had already started on that at one point. Don't we? We need more uh, inserter rotational tech <clears> as well. Uh, let's... Okay, so we got our nodules, we've got the... Mud. So that, that handles the limestone. Assuming that we actually... Can put together limestone here. Um... Okay, why aren't you working? Because I messed up. I'm just getting so much just random gubbins in my inventory right now. <laughs> There's a lot of new entities. Limestone, nodules, this, that. It's like, piss off. Sapphire ore. I like that, uh, um, like, all the shit we're doing on the left hand side is still relevant, but. We're also going to do even extra shit on the right hand side to make it even more relevant. Mm hmm. I like that. I think it's fair to say that we've both been kind of <laughs> sort of bitching about Angel a bit, but for the for the record, he's created some really cool new stuff and things. So. Oh yeah, a lot of a lot of uh, brain power goes into this shit. Most most of my frustration has just been with the incompatibility and instability issues, and just like how hard it is to. Just get the game to work, uh, which we haven't <laughs> dealt with in a long time. Oh, 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 you've not set. Oh, you moron. Me? You? What? Yeah, no, you. Thanks. Pumping speed right. 60 per second, so I assume that a C4 plump... C4 plump? <laughs> good. Good lord. I'm gonna take a drink of water here. I'm gonna you know, wet my lips here. C4 <laughs> pump. Like plump. It says it makes... It says pumping speed 60 per second. You don't specify a recipe, so am I led to believe then that it's making 60 mud water per second? I'm guessing so. That's as far as I would read into it. Uh, right, mud. So if he's making 60 mud water per second, how many C4 plumps... <laughs> uh, can I can I rename them? All right, what's the shortcut? It's like Control R. Yep. Yeah. C4 plumps. There. Right, so we're the now actually making an entire yellow belt of iron. There you go, see Joe. The the two machines on the bottom are both called washing plant C4 plump. <laughs> <laughs> this guy wants 100 every 5 seconds, the crafting speed of 1.5. Okay, so that's perfect. One C floor pump. Aha. Hey, C floor can support pump. can support two. Assuming I actually remember to oh, that's cool. it up. Oh no! Remember those that's... explosions happening? <laughs> what happened? Where? What? Do you want some iron? Oh, did you just do a thing? My inventory is quite full. Do you have a box that takes wood? Uh, no, yeah, there's something there. <laughs> yeah, way down there near the south, there's a little greenhouse that should have a little bit of wood. Eight and a half thousand so far. It's not very fast, and actually, I need two more greenhouses to complete the setup. Speaking of which, I'll go grab some glass and do that right now. <laughs> C4 plump. <laughs> 
I don't know what's up with me, I just cannot say that word. Okay, so we need to now, like, you know what we also need? The tech to do the copper induction furnace type stuff. I'm assuming, hopefully, please, God, please, all the ratios are the same. Why wouldn't they be? Oh, wait, Angel. That's right. <laughs> I have a lot of iron. Do you need any iron? No. Have you, learned, can... have you heard of a Lord and Savior iron? Yeah, no, no, I haven't. I'm not interested. Sorry, not buying anything today. Can't sell me. I can't sell you. Oh. No. I'm sure you would have brought a fair price at market. I don't want your insurance. Piss off. I don't. I don't sell insurance anymore, Steve. <laughs> There you go. C4 oh plush. Robots. I need robots so that auto trash can be a thing. Yeah, I've got a lot of coal right now and nowhere to put it and a lot of iron. Well, the mod pack we're using does not get rid of like coal liquefaction. So if we ever do get to blue science, we're going to want all this coal. <laughs> Why don't we just create, um, there is a small uh, inline loader that was stockpiling coal here. I think it's full. Why don't we just create a coal reservoir? Because we're going to need it later. we we'll just like shove a little dump box beside it. I, so I'm i personally not... I don't know about you, I'm not a fan of this, this picker... Vanilla picker thing that automatically selects mining drills when you queue on ore. Because I tend to, like, if I don't have my mouse over an entity, I expect it to just... clear my cursor. Yeah. So whenever my yeah. cursor ends up over ore, it does something different, and it's. Is there no weird. options for that? No, it's just a it's a vanilla pipette function. Yeah, there's no like option vanilla options for like, vanilla pipette options. No, no, probably not. No, I don't think so. Yeah, because fuck you if you want to have options. All right, what were yeah. what was I just doing? We we're gonna do all oh, right a uh, warehouse for coal. Um, why don't I just do this? There you go, look, now there's a little place to drop off your call. Uh, one thing I wanted to check on, is it is it logical, do you think, to... cook the coal, crush the coal, and turn it into coke or carbon before sending it down to the power area? Or would that be a waste if we wanted to turn the coal into something else later on? Um, it's... You get the exact same a mega joule inch out of it, so it's a waste to begin with. Because you're, you're sure using that? you're using per yeah. Two crush coal is eight mega joules. Uh, eight mega joules and one it takes one coal and that is eight mega joules. So whatever power you put in to actually crush the coal is wasted. Sure, but do you did you notice that there's an upgraded fuel value on Coke? Oh, Coke's five megajoules? Yep, yeah, so you take two crushed coal, which is eight megajoules, and you turn it into ten. So it's a 25% increase. I bet you recoup the loss on the crushing and on the cooking. It's melting. Because oh. you think about how many furnaces, furnace columns you can support in vanilla off like a single yellow belt of coal. Like, yeah. the fuel consumption value for the machines to run is like nothing. Yeah. We've I also think got you would your, recoup your that. And then if you look at carbon, that's the next tier. If you were then to take the coke and mix it with carbon dioxide, now the fuel value of each piece of carbon is six, and you're going from two coke to three carbon. So that's uh, 18 from 10. Oh, that's the question... carbon dioxide, 35 to that. There's one... Oh, okay. I feel like it's probably... It, some brainiac has probably worked it out to be a net neutral. Hmm... I'm thinking that the, the payoff's different. I think that the payoff is you get more fuel value. The drawback is if you wanted to liquefy the coal into oil, you can't. Because once you've converted it from coal into coke into carbon, there, I don't think there's any way to go backwards. Yeah. Anyway, I think I still think it's a good idea, though. To convert it all into carbon. I do, yeah. 
But, mm. or, or at least coke. coke. Yeah, I was going to say carbon's a bit far because if you convert it into carbon, you can't use it in the, in the metallurgy stuff. Right, right, but with, with the coke, we could just ferry the coke up there and not have to do any of that remote uh, stuff. Yes, yeah. All right, I'm gonna do that. Okay. What I'm actually gonna do is now that we've got this kind of setup, you can't sort crushed coal, can you? <laughs> that would be an interesting recipe. What would you get out of it? I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> coal. You just get exactly what you put in. Plus some extra just for reasons? No, no, it's literally exactly what you put in. Just to troll you. Okay, so let's remove this. We are using not a lot of copper right now. No, not at all. Well, we're, we're not doing much tech. What's slowing up science right now, anyway? We just don't have very many labs. And yeah, we never finished just... the uh, the lab research speed, either. Okay, well, iron consumption is going to go crazy soon if we actually start making red belt. And... I just got done saying I was going to crush the coal. So in my opinion, what we should do is have it going like this with coke and limestone on these two separate belts here. Oh, okay, to, so you're moving the whole thing down here now. Okay, yep. I was going to build over here, I guess I'll put some else. Oh shit, that was a lot of coke. So do that and then... There we go, and then this can be... So that's See, this is... For the record, Steejo, this is way more enjoyable for me than the AI thing, because we're both discovering new stuff, but we're both doing it. <laughs> Instead yeah. of you just being all, Combinators! <laughs> yeah, it's fun, AI. Oh, that was, that was something. Because <laughs> I like Combinators. The problem is that Combinators are such a, such a deep thing that you really can yeah. only either do it yourself or do it like with someone else, but at the exclusion of being able to actually pay any attention to what they're saying. Yeah, exactly. So you're basically by yourself. Well, it's like try to talk in code. It's just not going to happen. Yeah, it's the reason why people. Uh, what was the What's the term where you like put your headphones on and you, like go in the coding zone or whatever? Yeah. Nerd speak. Nerd speak. Right. That is my. idea for that anyway no 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 no, no. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna force this before we switch off let's get lab research speed and let's get some couple extra labs all right It's doing it again, man. I just I just tried to like pick up this iron chest to move it, and it just threw iron on the floor. <laughs> oh yeah, the stuff next to next to loaders, yeah. Just randomly puts iron, just like that. Just good spot for it. <laughs> 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 I have no idea why it's doing it, but it's it's annoying. Um, yeah, that's why. Uh. Yep, 
You know what? No. Let's just... No, don't do that yet, Stejo. Don't be a fucking bellend. Right. So, if it's 11 to 20 blast furnaces or 10 setups... I mean, can we just set up the 11 of these to place onto belts? I mean, how quickly do they make, actually? So um, it's three products every five seconds. Fucking, I hate him. I hate him. There's much stuff there. Just kept on saying, it's pretty cool stuff, and now here he is. I hate him, I hate him, I hate him. <laughs> Stijo can't go So it's point, long. 0.6 a second, and then we're going to make 11 of them, so it's 6.6 .6 a second, so... Is that... Well, no, 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 you're missing a, you're missing the crafting speed. I think it's point, isn't oh, it? Shit. Times one point five, yeah. I think it's point nine per second, and then the There's other ones nine, are consuming. Second. The blast furnaces consume point five limestone per second, but there's two of them in the setup, so it's one per second versus point nine per second, and that's where the disparity is coming in. Oh, so. Wait, what? So that'll be nine point nine if you're using eleven. Um, no, I was saying, maybe I did, maybe I reversed the ratio, it's, it's, it's definitely 1 to 0. 0.9, so it's either 10 to 11, one set up or the other, I don't remember which one's going to which. I, I had thought that it would be 11 of these guys at 0. 0.9, would make 9.9, .9, and then 10 of the other guys, it's as close to the ratios you can get, without... Well, it's, but, yeah, it's, it's well, like 10, 10 of the washing plants makes 9. Makes nine things. Oh, yeah, no, you're right, duh. Right. That would be a much better ratio, wouldn't it? So instead of a 11 to 20, you would do what? Um, nine to... Well, these use half. So they use one, so it's nine to... Nine to 18? It's, it's, it's 10 to 18. Uh, 10, 10 to 18, yeah. 10, 10 times 18. 0.9 is nine, and then 18 times one is... 18 divided by 2 because they choose half is 9. Yeah, so that's, yeah, you're right. I don't know what you've done. <laughs> I don't know. I just took the point 0.9 fart. and the 11 and yeah, the 1. And the... It's fine. It's new stuff. Making mistakes. You're allowed to brain fart. So we need but 10 I... of these setups for 9 blast furnace setups. Okay, so can we. I think down here, where I'm standing, would be a good place for making the Hujima Watsits. Hujima Watsits. The limestone. Near the mud sounds great, actually. Yeah, Assuming we can just this war. belt the limestone up. We're going to have coke that's uh, already on a belt, so we can just mix that in with the, the limestone and send that up to the blast furnace area. Yep. Well, we can make the coke down here as well, if you want. And then have like a little side thing that makes carbon just for the the um the steam engines. Okay. Yeah, I do think that upgrading to carbon for the steam engines makes sense. Okay, so you want me to reroute the coal then and send this all down down into this area then? Well, if we're not using coal for anything else right now, anyway. Because we will do for plastics and grenades for when we want uh, military tech. Man, I hate these geodes. They just get everywhere, man. You just pick the- I don't even know where they come from, but those come from some in my inventory. Those come from oh, deconstruction planering a rock. If you mine it, you get stone. If you deconstruct it, you get geodes. I don't know why. That's annoying. I don't want them. <laughs> you want them, like, so, so long from now. Oh, that's the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> Zapping shit. Did you add damn, them? Damn blueprints. I, I don't like having that mod off. I would <laughs> I would really prefer to still have that one that zaps anything in your inventory automatically. You to, well, you just need to get used to hitting Zs as opposed to Q. When you've got blueprints. I've been pressing Q for like three years. I Every know. time I have something in my hand and I want to get rid of it, I press Q. Just what you do. I'm not gonna... I'm, I don't think I can update. <laughs> yeah, but that's... You're saying that that's because you use a blueprint library now as opposed to having blueprints in your inventory. Whereas I don't use a blueprint library. Well, here's the difference. 
with 1.14, 0.14, I used to have Foreman. I had my Shift 3, my 8th inventory slot was Blueprints. My 8th was... 9th was uh, Deconstruction Planner. And every single time I would load a Blueprint from Foreman, it would automatically replace the existing Blueprint. Yeah. So whenever I would press Q, it would just go back to my taskbar. Because I don't have it on my taskbar now, then it ends up going into my inventory. So it never used to go into my inventory, now it does. That's that's what's changed. The reason why I can't put a blueprint on my taskbar is because Picker and the blueprint manager in this version of the game don't replace existing blueprints. So as soon as you get one blueprint on your taskbar, everything starts going into the inventory again. So you end up having to manually clear the inventory, the, the blueprint on your taskbar, which is just a pain. I found out the issue with um, the zap, by the way. Please tell. Uh, it needs to be close to your character. Because oh. it's essentially dropping it on the ground, and your drop range is quite close. Ah. Interesting. Got it, cool. Right, but well, we're gonna... that's, uh, that's all we've got time for. Alright, fine. Steejo's gonna be a grumpus again. <laughs> did you uh, end up taking a, a, an actual blueprint and saving it into the game or anything anywhere for the crushing that we did up there? Never mind, or, I can just mini-map look at it. It's not no, good. I didn't. I, didn't. I literally just zapped that blueprint as well. <laughs> Goodbye, blueprint. <laughs> See you later, blueprint. You nerd. But, okay. yes. I think that's, okay. uh, that's all we've got time for. So, do you want to use me? Yeah, I don't fucking care. Uh, that was episode 12. It's me. So don't steal my outro. See you guys <laughs> next time. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>